Hi. Hola. Hi, here is Mr. Dozier. This is Michael Bradley. Hey, I'm Memphis. Hey. Hola. Hello. I'm here with Soccer.com. 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 And I'm talking with my friends at Soccer.com. See you soon. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Adidas A16.1 Prime Knit in the limited edition Dark Space Pack colorway. Now included with the shoes inside the box is a string bag, it's a black perforated mesh with black strings, and then of course has the Ace and Adidas logos there on the front. Along with the bag, you of course get the shoes themselves, which I have right here in what at a quick glance appears to be a mostly black colorway, and it is that. Uh, but there are some little accent colors and some interesting reflective bits on the shoe as well that I'm going to be highlighting in today's video. So we'll take a closer look at the colorway, we'll talk tech specs, performance, take a look at the weight of the shoe, as well as how they fit and feel on feet. So if you are interested in learning more about this particular colorway of the A16.1 Prime Knit, stick around and watch the entire video. If you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, there'll be a little pop-up on screen as well as a link in the description that'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive sr4u coupon codes where you'll be able to pick these up below their normal 225 dollars retail price so again if you're interested in a pair click a little pop up or the first link in the description and with that being said let's get right into the review to start things off let's take a closer look at the colorway now being that this is part of the dark space pack the shoe is mostly blacked out you have a little bit of silver speckles in the laces which are reflective the adidas stripes are partially reflective the bottom half um, where you can see it's a darker gray is a reflective material although it's a standard reflective not multicolor reflective like you'll find on the pure chaos or pure control models and then you do have a flash of neon yellow in the tongue as well as the adidas logo right here at the back everything else though is fully blacked out as you can very clearly see so just to give you guys an idea of the reflective aspect of the shoe i'm going to turn some lights off and give you a look at it it's a little bit difficult to show on camera but i think you guys will get the idea so you can see right now no light it's perfectly black and then as i kind of shine a camera there uh, or a light i should say you can see the adidas stripes uh, kind of reflect turn a little bit of a kind of brighter color and then the laces have that little bit of pop with the reflective strips as well it's a little bit difficult to show on video if you take a camera uh, I take a picture with a camera using a flash, it's a lot more noticeable. And if you are in a stadium lighting type environment, it is something that you will potentially notice as well. But nonetheless, it's a pretty much blacked out shoe, which I think looks very good. And the reflective details, I think are just a little bit of an extra element that most people I think would like. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Do you like how these look? Why or why not? And with that being said, let's move on to the tech specs so we can learn a little bit more about the overall performance. From a performance standpoint, the A16.1 Prime Knit is a very, very good shoe. And in terms of knitted shoes in general, at the $225 retail price, it's significantly cheaper than pretty much anything else out there at the moment. And you do get that true kind of knitted sock-like sensation in terms of how the upper feels against your foot and the general touch that it provides. Now we're gonna go over basic tech specs in today's video, but if you guys do wanna learn a little bit more about the shoes or perhaps even just see them in action, I do have a play test video for this shoe. I'll leave a little pop-up on screen. You can go ahead and check it out if you haven't seen it already. But basically with this shoe, you're getting a prime knit upper, um, which is a very, very soft material. You can see the knitted pattern uh, with the actual polyurethane cover that it has. And then of course you get the nonstop grip dots on top of that. The NSG branding is right there. Basically it's a wet control element that in my opinion has very, very little impact on the touch. But nonetheless, the shoe is on the thinner side and it does offer uh, somewhat of a padded kind of soft touch on the ball because of the knitted material that it's made out of. So the touch is quite good. Um, it's not overly padded, it's not overly thin. If I had to compare it to anything, it would be something like the Magista Obra 1, but maybe even a little bit thinner than that. And again, it just is very comfortable, very soft material, and I like how it feels quite a bit. As far as structure is concerned, this does have laces, of course, unlike the Pure Control, which is the laceless model that retails for the full $300, $75 more than this. A lot of people ask, what's my favorite? The Prime Knit variation, the 16.1 Prime Knit, or the 16 plus pure control. I'm not crazy about the pure control in general. If you've seen any of my videos on that shoe, you know that I do think that it does have some problems. Uh, so for me, by far the better option is the 16.1 Prime Knit. Um, it's a better value, it's a better shoe, it's a better 
uh, I guess, knitted upper experience because the knitted upper on the, the pure control model almost doesn't translate when it comes to the actual feel of the shoe just because there's so much internal structure. But this, I really, really like. So you do have the laceless acting, uh, the laces acting as structure on this particular shoe as opposed to them being laceless. And then of course you have the Adidas stripes themselves, which aren't just there for branding reasons, they're there as structure. So these are a thin TPU plastic material fused directly to the top of the upper. They run from the base of the sole into the lacing system. And you'll notice that immediately when you put these on, there is a lot more stiffness where the stripes are positioned through the midfoot to help lock your foot in place and just create a nice snug sensation in general. As far as the central lacing system is concerned, they do run down the middle, but there isn't really a tongue. It looks like a tongue, but it's more of an internal wrap. So you have an elasticated prime knit material, another knitted material here, similar to what uh, Nike does with their mid cut models where you obviously have the collar extension piece and then it runs down the side. So you have two layers of knitted material wrapping the midfoot and then it just spans through uh, the tongue area as well, just filling in the middle of the shoe uh, with all these little cutouts that they tout as a control element. But honestly, it's not something you really notice when you're wearing the shoe at all. As far as the cut of the shoe is concerned, it is somewhat of a mid cut model. This is what they call their prime cut sock. Um, it's not really a mid-cut shoe. It's a low-cut shoe. You can see it right here very clearly. Then you just have this little knitted extension piece that doesn't have a particularly snug fit. It won't fit your ankle really, really closely. Um, and again, it's there more so just to have the mid-cut look. No performance benefit to it whatsoever, and you don't even really notice it from the first time that you wear them. It's kind of just something that's there as an extension piece and serves no actual purpose. Again, as far as performance is concerned, you do have an internal uh, liner that is mesh at the top or prime knit at the top, I should say, and then a nice synthetic leather at the bottom, which uh, I think feels very comfortable. This does not feel like a mid-cut shoe. It fits like a standard low-cut shoe and is pretty comfortable in the heel area right out of the box. And then the insole, fully removable, it features a mesh liner on top some perforations through the front three quarters of the insole, and it's just a single layer of this black foam. Nothing too fancy, but it does get the job done. And then moving on to the bottom of the shoe, you do have a heel counter that is one piece with the actual sole plate. This is their sprint frame construction that you're gonna find on all of their top end models at the moment. It's a thinner TPU plastic that does have some decent rigidity to it. Uh, the shoe is not overly stiff by any means, and it does get more flexible as you wear them in. And then of course it is an FGAG stud pattern as well. So this stud pattern is suited for use on firm natural grass as well as artificial grass. Although I definitely do think that it's more of an FG stud pattern. It's pretty much the same stud pattern that they first introduced on the F50 Adi Zero in 2010. And they've brought it back now on pretty much all of their models with just different stud shapes. The Ace Line, all conical studs as you can see, and it works quite well. There's nothing really uh, that I think is tremendously good about it or really bad. I definitely think it's more of an FG stud pattern as opposed to an AG stud pattern, but it performs well on both surfaces. And if you do play on both natural and artificial grass and you only wanna buy one pair of shoes, uh, this technically will do the job for you, uh, which is something that you don't really get outside of the Adidas brand at the moment. In terms of weight, the A16.1 Prime Knit is a relatively lightweight shoe. So for the sake of the video, I'm gonna weigh them for you today in real time, just so we can see exactly what the weight is. Keep in mind that this is a brand new pair in a size nine US. I'm gonna throw them on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 7.7 .7 ounces, the equivalent of 218 grams. So for comparison's sake, that's pretty much the same weight range as something like a Nike Hypervenom Phantom 2. Uh, so that kind of gives you an idea of where these fall in comparison to other shoes. And again, they're under eight ounces. They're relatively lightweight, not the lightest thing in the world by any means, but they certainly aren't going to feel heavy on your feet. All right, so here is a look at the Dead Space Pack A16.1 Prime Knit on feet. On my left foot, I have the stock black reflective laces that come with the shoes. And on my right foot, I have a pair of neon yellow reflective SR4U replacement laces. If you're interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself, the website to go to is www.sr4ulaces.com. You see a little pop-up on screen as well as a link in the description that'll take you directly there. So if you're interested in a pair, be sure to go ahead and check it out. Now in terms of how these things fit and feel on feet, they are very comfortable shoes out of the box. The four foot and toe box area 
area where it's pretty much just straight up prime knit material. It's very soft, very flexible, does have that sock like sensation. The heel area, given that it is, does have the mid cut look, it doesn't feel like a mid cut shoe. It's pretty standard as far as low cut shoes go and it fits very comfortably. No issues with heel slippage at all. The only thing that may take some getting used to or uh, may give you a little bit of trouble as far as breaking the shoes in is the midfoot area with those adidas stripes it does add firmness and just general structure to the actual upper itself which is not a bad thing uh, but again it is something that may squeeze your foot a little bit too tightly at first depending on the shape of your foot and just the way the shoes fit you in general minor foot cramping is not uncommon but uh, you should be able to break these in pretty easily and blisters is something that you should be able to avoid uh, like i said pretty easily as well. As far as width is concerned, the shoe does have some decent width to it. It will fit most people, but again, there is more of a snug fit overall through the midfoot area where the Adidas stripes are positioned. It's also going to restrict stretching of the upper. So for the most part, the way these fit out of the box is the way they're gonna fit for their entire lifespan. But again, they will fit most people as long as you don't have excessively wide feet. And as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing my usual size nine US here and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. All right, guys, that is it for my review of the Adidas A16.1 one prime knit in the dark space pack colorway. If you guys are interested in a pair of these for yourself, be sure to check out the review page on my website. You can access that by either clicking the eye in the corner of the screen, or it'll be the very first link down below in the description. And of course, on that page, you will find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes, where you'll be able to pick these up below their normal $225 retail price. If you have any questions at all regarding this shoe, leave them down below in the comments, and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked in the description as well. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, thanks for watching.